This is Dr. Chad Lavender from Marshall University, and we're going to go over outcomes of standard versus nanoscopic partial meniscectomy. This is really based on a recent study that we performed, really going over the differences, especially early on in nanoscopic procedures in the knee versus standard knee arthroscopy. Our goals of nanoarthroscopy are simple. Less than three millimeter incisions, which also we use less than three millimeter instrumentation, that also leads to less fluid into the joint and an improved earlier recovery as we saw in our clinical setting. This shows the reduction in invasive area from a standard arthroscope to the nano needle, almost an 84% reduction in your invasive area, which dramatically changes the procedure for the patient. We've really been able to expand the procedural adoption with the nano needle. And one of the reasons is because we have different lengths of the nano needle. So whichever joint that you're using the nano needle in, you can specifically use the nano needle for that joint based on the size of the nano needle that you want. The Nanoscope medical grade console is excellent. It's portable. It also can be used in the operating room to place our images up on our standard viewing angles as we use uh, in any arthroscopy. In addition to the technology and the visualization that's changed, we also now have instrumentation such as you see here, the nano resection disposable instrumentation, which also takes advantages of smaller portals and more minimally invasive procedures. Along those same lines, the Nano Saber is a great addition. It still has a low profile and very aggressive shaver that's used in nanoarthroscopy. We've really seen a remarkable evolution of knee surgery from open procedures to more minimally invasive procedures and now to procedures with the nano needle where there's very minimal incision, if any, nearly incisionless procedures. One pearl I'd like to add is when you're in knee flexion, try to avoid the fat pad and any inflammation to the fat pad by going straight into the notch uh, from the portal and that really decreases the amount of blood or bleeding that you'll see in the joint. This is our first paper that we published on a technique using the nanoscope, which was the incisionless partial medial meniscectomy. And this provided the framework for what you're hearing today, which is the clinical results of using the nano needle in the knee versus a standard uh, arthroscopy. The study that we just published is a prospective series, three surgeons, myself, Dr. Jasko uh, from Marshall University, and Dr. Argentar from Washington Hospital Center. It's a prospective consecutive series, 19 consecutive nanoscopes, 19 consecutive standard uh, knee arthroscopies. Our cohorts showed no differences in their preoperative scores or demographics. When we look at the operative outcomes, narcotic pills in the first 24 hours were recorded. The nanoarthroscopy group had significantly fewer pills taken in that first 24 hours. In addition to this, operatively, the fluid used was dramatically different. 475 or 473 milliliters in the nanoscope group versus the standard group, which had over 1600 milliliters used on average. The tourniquet time was not statistically different between the two groups. So when we look at post-operative outcomes, the standard group and the nanoarthroscopy group had significantly different outcomes at two weeks. The VAS at two weeks pain score was only one in the nanoscope group versus the standard group 2.56. The CUS pain score at two weeks in the nanoscope group 79% versus only 58% in the standard group. The CUS quality of life score at two weeks was in the nanoscope group 70% and in the standard group, 43%. All of these outcome measures were statistically similar by the six week time point. So let's review the overall findings of our study. We showed in the nanoscope group and the nano needle group, reduced pain at two weeks, improved functional scores at two weeks postoperatively with decrease in pain medicine consumption within 24 hours after the surgery. These are very significant findings, especially in athletes and patients who really want to get back to activity and or sports and work within those first two to six weeks. Nanotechnology in the knee continues to evolve. What's the remarkable advantages of the nanotechnology? 
we can do procedures with nearly no incision or through a percutaneous approach. This allows, as I mentioned, earlier return to sport and activity. There's less fluid and swelling within the knee, improved pain, decreased risk of infection and other complications, and we're really excited about the technology in the future. We've already started a randomized clinical trial and well within that clinical trial now in our patient cohorts uh, to examine specifically nanotechnology in the knee versus standard arthroscopy.